Okay. Um, I've told, I've tried to put that video together of um, the day when I met the Christians and that. I was saying that then it must be why it was all held off because I seen a video yesterday from Jeff Dowdy and um, a lot of this is so much what he was on about is what I've experienced on this journey. Um, okay, the Christians picked me up. The video yesterday, it was so incredible, it hit me on the heart, and and I know it is thy, <laughs> thy way. And um, and then the other things he talked about, it's pretty horrific. So the Christians picked me up, a total stranger, a guy who's just hitching on the side of the road, just Joe Blow, you know, total stranger. They picked me up, they say to me, oh no, we'll show you where this God is. We'll show you God. Then they take me, they take me to their house, they drop me off there. We pass from Emerald to Blackwater and somewhere around there, this little town. And, um, they, okay, they leave me at their place. They see the children will look after you. They, they sit me on this chair. I leave my camping stuff just there. And, and, and three, four, five hours of, of videos playing, of, of Christian videos. Of um you know like um the story when he got put on the cross and all that sort of um movie and all that and they said the children look after you so it's just me and like a half dozen or so children in the house and um over that time strange events happened um the girls were playing around and doing dress up and then one of them like nine or eleven years old is dancing around the TV. One in front of them, like, in my visual and all, and the other ones were on the side of my visual, and, and this one is really getting my attention. And then the, the light would, of, the, would um, light up her dress at times. And it's one of those seafood kind of dresses, how somewhere, and it's like silk or something like that, and she was starched naked underneath. Okay? Um... Jeff Doldy said some things yesterday, what must be, like if I put this video up earlier without him saying what he said yesterday, you, you could have thought other things and this and that, but, okay, so I'm with these questions and that, and, and, and then they've left me in the house, and these sort of events, what happened for the day, but I was on a journey up, over for six, eight months, I had no sexual desires or anything, and that, that's how I told about the monastery, but that, that's later, but just stick to the story, Bruce. So I'm in the house all day, I'm playing all these videos, it's like programming of this Jesus is, is the God and all this and that, and because what I experienced of these sparks and then things just open up. And, um, so, um... I'm there for the day with them and these events happen and, and, and on the side of my visual was these, these children doing things that are, I don't know, just, it was too puzzling to like, but when I hear Jeff's story yesterday, it's just like, wow, they are like that. It's these statistic, cynical people who, who, who take virginity away from children. Um, I'm saying it like that because he spoke about it. He spoke about it. And and I, I was a total stranger. You know, like, people would want to um, safeguard their children from somebody taking somebody's virginity away. And so that played out anyway during the day. And then at the end of the day, when I was getting to evening time, like 5, 6 o'clock, then the parents had come back. I thought it was on a Sunday because it was a church day and everything like that. And then they go, oh, you enjoyed the movies and all this and that. Oh, yeah. so you look after you. Yeah. You, you know, you could have had anything you wanted. Um, I, 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 was, I was okay. I had a sandwich. I, I, I feel okay. Um, cause I just play aloof. I'm not like saying about, oh, your children are a little bit... Um, Thing and this and that, I didn't bother telling them about it because they probably, they're probably all in on it, you know? But 
even hearing Jeff what he talked about yesterday, to me, I feel what Jeff was saying is so true. They're taking the innocence of of innocent children. They're taking their the, the innocence away. Okay. Um, and who would leave a total stranger like that? Um, I just pause out. So I, I go to the church with them later, okay? Um, and then we're in the church and this and that, and they're doing these sing songs, and the preacher's up there pre- preaching. Um, it's a little town, like 600 odd people, and I can remember that on the sign. And, and um, then we're in the church, and then the preacher man walks down, because I must think, because I was just a new guy in there, and he walks up behind me, and then puts his head on, hand on my head, and go, on the something, something, Jesus Christ, come into this man and save him from his sins and blah, blah. And I'm like there in my own mind going, wow, what's going on now? And, and just seeing if I see any of these dark or this and that, how, how it's just Jesus of God and blah, blah. And, and you know, because I've been programming, yeah, and blah, blah, and, um, and, but nothing happened, okay, I didn't, there, there, there was no fucking, there, there's no power coming from this man like that, there's no nothing, and, and then, and, but it's all just, just making out like he thinks that he's brought this food into me, and blah, 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 and, oh, you know, but I, I'm just not saying you think back, and then, then it came to the meal time, and because on my journey, I, I, I went, um, I started from the Buddhist, so I, I was vegetarian along my journey, and, that, and that they were having pork, and 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 when we are just having their gathering afterwards, and in the corner of my eyes, I'm, I'm seeing them serving up the food, and we have seen them, and some of them eat it, and and it was it was like, um. How pigs would eat your flock? Like, it, it's really puzzling to explain, but it just didn't feel right. And then they said earlier about the the eat the bread and the the the, the drink is the the blood and the blah blah, and just how they they teach them in their teachings. And so it came to that they gave me my plate and that. Um, there were some vegetables that I actually end up um. Cause I really didn't want to eat this food, eh? I stuck around out the back and and tipped out the meat and that, and left my veggies and, and walked back in and just made out like I was still eating, but I wasn't even eating it because I just tipped it out. Um, so then that happened and all. So then that that event went on. I better carry on. And then so then they put me up and they want me to, to stay with the gathering and all. Um, oh, tonight you can go and stay with the priest because they got this little house. What they have, with, it's owned by the church as well, and it's where the priest comes once a month. Um, a different priest comes in. Oh, each week a different priest comes in, and this month this priest was. Um, I'm going to the house with the priest now after the church. So he's driving the car, and I'm the passenger, and I can have talk to you. On um, that Ray Angus with Shangri-La, um, people in the town told me later that he murdered his son. Okay, this he ran over on the way. He ran over a frog, and and I looked, I looked to him, and it was like he didn't, wasn't even aware of me looking at him, and I just seen this face like he knew he ran over. He knew he killed um, a living living being. Well, life, he killed life. Uh, because I, I, I know we are nature's children. He, this priest man, he, he, he's got a big grin on his face when he's, when he's run over and killed something. He's got this big grin on his face. And, and, and he's got this all around what I used to see around my anger. It's this, this like, he's just gleaming. He's just gleaming because he killed something. Okay, so I'm, I'm being so um, aloof, you know. I'm not, I'm not even um, letting things get aware. So I go back to the place and he showed me his room and then thing like that. And 
I'm the third person, um, I wake up Jimmy during the night, okay. I fell into, that night, when I stayed in that other house where the preacher was, and, um, it's where he stays, they got some rooms there for, um, visitors and that, um, I stayed in one of the rooms. I never woke once that night. I woke up the next day, my, I had a wrist. My wrist was all bruised up, all bruised up. I don't know what happened. It, it felt like I'd been violated. Um, I've had these experiences in my sleep. Um, I've had some crazy experiences in my sleep. And and in my sleep, um, it's like I'm I'm a victim. And so and. And then when I've woken, nobody's there anymore. He, he's not there. Um, no, nobody's in the place. And I've got my swag gear and just, uh, I've only just got my swag and my bag, and my pack, and I'm like puzzled. I'm like, ah, I'm feeling like, wow, what happened? What happened last night? And I'm, I, I'm seeing that um, preacher when I went like that. I'm seeing them running over that that frog and, and just like. How, how he was so excited on taking, killing something, and and that.